Hi guys, today you are going to be learning how to make an animal head crown. I've got a lion on my head and I've also got a panda here and there are many different animals you could try. You could just adapt this uh, video um, into any other animal you want to be able to do. But I'm going to be going step by step and teaching you how to make yourself a very cool animal head crown and um, it's very simple, just follow the steps. If you don't have coloured card, then just paint or colour in plain paper or white card if you've got it. So you don't need coloured card, just if you have it, you could use it if you'd like. So all you need to make one of these head crowns is some coloured paper or some white paper or card that you can then colour in, some scissors if you need help from an adult ask an adult for some help doing the cutting element, you need some circular things to draw around if you want to have a go at doing a lion you need two different sizes of circles to draw around and um, some pens to colour in his face, I've just got a pencil here to do the outline of my circles and then I've got a glue stick to glue on all the face features and then I took some sellotape to tape together the crown which there's the strip that goes around your head just to make sure that it definitely stayed on so that is everything you need I hope you enjoy the video just take it step by step and I can't wait to see your crowns you create so to start with, we're going to get the bigger plates out of the two that you've got, a plate or a bowl, whichever one it is, and you're going to draw around it, and this is going to become the lion's mane. So next you need to cut out the line that you've drawn around. If you need some help, just ask a parent to come and help you with this element of cutting out. Then once that's done, we are now going to draw around your smaller plate or bowl and this is going to become the lion's face. And cut this one out as well. Now we're going to cut out the ears, so just copy the shapes that I've drawn, or if you want to make different shapes you also can, so cut two of those out. Now that is done, get your smaller circle and you're going to attach the ears to the top of the circle. You just need to glue a tiny little bit along the bottom line where the ears are going to attach and stick those on. Turn it around so hide all of your lines and then you're going to glue on the back side and then stick this down to the bigger circle which is going to become your lion's mane. Perfect. And now we are going to draw the face of the lion on. You can use a pen or a pencil, whatever you like, or a paint, so if you're painting them, if you don't have the coloured card and you're painting the whole thing, you'll now paint on the face. I'm just adding the eyes and the nose. Now 
Now, once that is all done, you're now going to cut around, making tiny little cuts all around the mane of the lion, which is going to make it look all textured and 3D. So just snip the little lines the whole way around like I'm doing. I'm now just getting a second colour of paper, slightly lighter than my yellow paper, and I'm going to make the inside of the ears. This is something you don't have to do if you don't want to, or you could just colour it on or paint it on, whatever you'd like. I'm just cutting mine out here. And now it's time to make the straps for your crown. So I'm just cutting two strips of the yellow paper. Just use normal paper if you want, and then you just want to measure it to your head and attach the strips together. One strip may be enough, um, so just trial it and see how you get on. And now, last but not least, you need to glue your lion head to your crown, um, ready for wearing. So I'm just adding some glue to the crown and then I'm going to stick the lion head onto it. So that is our lion mask done and now we are going to try and make a panda. So I'm going to get my plate or bowl and I'm going to draw around a white piece of paper. So next I'm going to get some black paper and I'm going to do the shape of the outline around the panda's eyes. And it's kind of similar to the outline of a number eight. Um, but you can have a look at what I've drawn and copy the shape afterwards in a second once I've cut it out for you. So now I'm just gluing these circle, well, eight kind of shaped um, eyes of the panda down. And then once these are stuck down, I am going to add the feature, other features. So I'm just drawing the nose and then I'm going to add the mouth in.
and now I'm just using white paper to cut out the eyes for the panda to go back on top of the black. If you have googly eyes, you could use googly eyes instead to do this, which would be great. Next, I'm going to cut out the ears of the panda, similarly to how I did the ears for the lion, and then stick those on. And then all that's left to do is to create the band to put it around your head. And that is our panda mask done. So we have got a panda and a giraffe. You could do any other animals. There's lots of other animals you could try. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you are now sat very proudly with a crown on top of your head. You could be a lion. It could be the panda or you could have created something up yourself. You could have done a bear, you could have done a chicken, you could have done any animal or a dinosaur. If you wanted to do a dinosaur, a unicorn would be cool with the horn on the top. You decide and have a go guys and show me what you create. And I will see you next week, bye.